Know, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, that as soon as you enter into the institute of marriage, that as soon as you marry, that shaitan has set out on his mission. He set out on a mission to destroy this, this union, to destroy this relationship. And the shaitan, as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he has mentioned to us that he places his arsh, he places his throne on the water, and then he dispatches his agents. He dispatches the shayateen. And this shaitan, this shayateen, they come back with, with actions that they've done, and, and then they say to the shaitan what they have done, and then he says, you've done nothing. And, and, and then until one of these agents, he comes back to him and he says, I didn't leave him or I didn't leave them until I separated between them. Until I separated between him and his wife. And then the shaitan, he says, you are the one. You are the one. And he brings him close to him. Shaitan, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, continues to increase the divorce rates around the world. So when we look at, for example, statistics, we will see that in America, and we'll see in England, for example, one in two marriages fail, they end up in divorce. That's one in two marriages. In Australia, the statistics are one in three marriages ends up in divorce. And subhanAllah, it's interesting to note that according to last year's census, that one, that one in five Australians, they don't have any religion. They're atheists. They don't believe in a religion. And then they wonder why, why they have problems in their societies, why they have uh, depression, and, and why such high rates of, of, of divorce. And Australians, they spend $3 billion on getting married, and they spend $6 billion in the courts on getting divorced. $6 billion. And alhamdulillah, the Muslim world continues to have the lowest statistics when it comes to divorce. But still, the, the, the divorce rates are, are, are increasing. They're getting higher. We need to understand, brothers and sisters, that relationships are, according to my humble opinion, 30% joy and 70%. The 70% of the time, you're working towards the 30%. Blood, sweat, and tears. Relationships are like owning your dream car. You know, some of you might have a dream car, whether it's a Beamer, whether it's a, a Rexy, whether it's a Merc. Now, when you have that car, when you have that dear car, 
What do you do to keep it running? What do you do to keep the value in that car? What do you do? You change the oil every 5,000 Ks. You polish it from time to time. You rotate the tires. You ensure that the, the fluids are, the levels of the fluids are, are high. And, 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 and as soon as you hear a sound, what do you do? You go, that doesn't sound correct. So you respond and you act quickly. And so we maintain our cars. Relationships are like gardens. If you do not maintain and tend to your garden, what's going to happen? You're going to have weeds and that, that are going to overtake your garden. So you're not going to have the produce from this particular garden. And so if we don't take care of the details of our relationship, then they're going to end up in, in ruins. And so that is how, that is the situation with marriage. The Quran, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, it gives us an analogy that a husband and a wife are like clothing to one another. They are like garments to one another. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Baqarah, He says, lakum wa antum libasun lahun. That they, your wives, in other words, your wives, are clothing for you. And you, the husbands, are clothing for them. And so just like we need clothes as part of our life, likewise we need spouses to complete us. Just like our clothes, they protect us from heat and they protect us from cold and other elements or even they might even protect us from an enemy like armor. Marriage does the same thing. Mar your spouse should be able to give you that warmth. Your spouse gives you the protection from going to commit zina adultery or fornication so in the same way that we find comfort in our clothes we must also find comfort in our partner now the more stable the more stable you are in your relationship the more energetic and productive you're going to be outside of your relationship and it's a shame that many of us if not all of us will admit that if our jobs that if our jobs or our relationships were on the line which one would we work towards saving, the job or the relationship? Of course, the answer is the relationship. Yet many of us are not treating our relationships in that way. Ya ilaha al-kawni qad aslamtu lak Ya ilaha al-kawni qad aslamtu lak Ya ilaha al-kawni qad aslamtu lak رب فاغفر زلتي ما أحكمك أبتغيها مدحة طالية تبهر البدر بليل محتلك راديا منك إلهي رحمة تغسل الذنب وقد أمسيت لك أيها المؤمن يا سعد الوجود أنت بالإيمان